Welcome to a new video. I'm Reintje and today I'm gonna talk about K-Arts, their lessons or like the lessons I take, how my weeks are filled. So right now I'm sitting in a finer building which is a 10 minute walk away from the dormitory because the campus is quite big. You can see uh, here a link to the campus tour. But we have a lot of buildings, a lot of places uh, and it's a lot of walking. So every day I'm like over 10,000 steps, which is a really great improvement for my uh, So everyone has a different schedule because you can choose your own courses. So they have a, like a big scale of all classes you can take. Sign up for these classes and then the whole semester you have your own personal schedule. So my contains six courses in a week. And my schedule starts with Monday. And Monday we have creative photography. The lesson takes about four hours from two to six, two or three hours of teaching, yeah, a lecture, and the other two or one hour is to go outside with cameras, with a whole group, and then just take pictures. There is time for individual talks. Tuesday is my fullest day. I have classes from nine in the morning to nine in the evening. We start with language class in the morning, which is mandatory. It is two hours. Teacher is really, really nice, really chaotic. And actually <laughs> her explaining is a puzzle, uh, but she's so enthusiastic and so happy. And then we have free time from 11 to two. And in the time we go lunching in the cafeteria. And then from two to six, I have ceramics class. The first two hours of explaining and we all getting uh, our clay and then we practice this thing in a group uh, setting. And after the two hours uh, we are free to do our own projects with the technique. Apparently it's quite normal to just take a short nap during class. Yeah, amazing. We also literally have nap spaces. After that class, uh, I have an hour break. So from six to seven, where I like eat really fast because mostly ceramics mix goes on to 6.30 or something. At seven, we have history class, a lecture about Korean art. And it's really, really nice to see all these Korean artists and she really explains a lot. It's super interesting. Every three weeks we go to like a museum or a gallery, expositions, exhibitions. We're uh, expected to write papers or essays, give presentations about certain topics. And Wednesday I have printmaking class in the morning from 10 to 2. Now I'm explaining this and notice that every lesson is actually built up the same. So first two hours explaining or lecture about techniques uh, or artists and stuff. And then the next two hours is actually like working, getting individual talks. He really stimulates uh, experimenting. Oh, my leg is sleeping. And on Thursday, I have no lessons, but it's needed on this day. On Thursday, I um, often go to the Homi Hwabang. That is a shop in Hongdae with art supplies. And then we're already at the last day. And the last day is Friday. And Friday is a studio class day. It's more like a mentor class where I chose a teacher and the teacher chose me. Wow, that really sounded like Harry Potter. My teacher is Ko Ji Yoon. She is so sweet and like every lesson we do a bit of presentations of what we do and where our projects are about. And in this class, we're really free to do whatever art we want. It's really, really free. And she talks, gives uh, artists for examples to look at. She gave me this book. It's from the artist Sung Wang Kim. 
she gives me a lot of inside research things to do. I believe we're also gonna do field trips. We are gonna have guest lectures. <sighs> yeah, that was my school week already. I'm here for a month and it literally feels like two weeks maybe. Yeah, I experience it as a really great time. I feel so safe here. Also at the school, I feel free to do whatever comes up in my mind. I'm free to use every space, like this dancing space. There are a lot of spaces you can work and study, sleep, take a nap, read, whatever. I have my own workspace, which is really nice. It's next to a window also, so I have a lot of light and I really love that. Yeah, I'm just very, very grateful for this opportunity. I could never imagine, like my 60 year old me would never thought I would study in, in Seoul at an art school. It's so crazy. Um, they do a lot for exchange students. We have uh, certain people who we can go to who speak English and help us with everything you want. And they organize like field trips for us, like at a national museum, for example. But yeah, I'm, I'm also really grateful and thankful for the people I've met um, and the other exchange students love you. If there are any questions or think I should explain more, then uh, really feel free to put it down in the comments. Yeah, I think that was all. Thank you so much again for watching uh, this video and uh, goodbye.